right, boys and girls, and welcome to Goron Guitar. I really like this song from Casey Musgraves called Cardinal. So Casey's been here before on Goron Guitar in different collabs with songs like She Calls Me Back. I think that was one of them. Sitting in a Corner was the second one. So this one, Cardinal, really like this one. And it fits guitar very, very well. So if you like this song, you are home. We're gonna look at this tutorial together. So we have five different chords to handle. We're gonna do that with capo on first. It's a pretty much a must to have a capo on this one to handle it correctly. Uh, if you wanna match up with the sound in the song, of course. So anyway, let's go into the chords and starting with E minor. So we have open E, second A, second D, open G, open B, and open E. We have G next, that is third on E, second on A, open D, open G, third B, third E. We have D, and that is open D, second G, third B, second E. We have the A sus, and that is Open A, 2nd D, 2nd G, open B, and open E. And the final chord is C. So that is 3rd on A, 2nd on D, open G, 1st B, and open E. Alright, so there we have the 5 chords and no bar chords either. Wow. So let's take a look at the strumming now. We have E minor as the first chord, so let's start with that. Grab that E minor and one string around will be like this. Okay, so we need to break this one into two parts because we're gonna split it later in the course. We'll come to that, but the first part will be down, down. Okay, so just two downs like this. And then the second part will be up, up, down, up. So it's an up, and then a short pause, and then up, down, up. And these two parts, they come like glued together. So immediately after part one, you're gonna start with the up on part two. So down, down, up, up, down, up. Like this together. Okay, and a couple of rounds of the full strumming goes. So we're ready for the song now, and it starts with the first verse and the chord progression that goes one string around, one full string around per chord, and it's E minor, G, D, and the A sus. We're gonna do that for two rounds, so let's do that together. Starting with E minor. So there you have the first verse, over now to the pre-chorus, you're going to continue the same strumming and you're going to play C two full rounds and A sus two full rounds. You do it only for this one chord progression round. So C2, A2 and that's it, like this. And there you have the first pre-chorus. Now into the first chorus. And this is where you need to break the strumming into two parts. We're gonna work with E minor to A to start with. So you're gonna play E minor part one, the down, down, and then you go to A sus and play part two, up, up, down, up. Okay, so you're gonna really shift chords here in the chords, E minor to A. You're gonna do that shift, E minor part one, A, part two for three rounds first. And then on the fourth round, you're gonna do the same shift, but between the G and the A sus. So G is played part one in the same way as E minor, down, down, and then A sus in the same way as you played it before, part two, up, up, down, up. So that is the fourth round. And you're gonna play these four rounds for two chord progression rounds, so to speak. So the first three rounds goes E minor part one and A part two. 
and then fourth round G part one, A part two. I gotta take down the tempo a little bit so you understand what's going on here and you get the feeling for the rhythm. Okay, so let's do these four rounds together, starting with E minor. That is one round. In tempo, a bit faster, one round, another one round goes like this. Yes, I played two rounds for you. And that is actually the first course, all right? So, uh, from that chorus, you go into the post-chorus part, and it's very, very easy. The first one goes just to play one down of the two chords, A sus, with big pauses in between, and then on C. And I'll pause again. And that starts the next round of everything. So post-chorus part, one down on A, one down on C. The second round here in this verse play, it will be played in the exact same way as the first one. So no changes there. And the same goes with the second pre-chorus and even the second chorus. No changes there from the first round. And then we have the second post-chorus here. You're just gonna play the A sus here. You're gonna skip the C. So just one down on A and that's it for the post-chorus two, all right? After that comes the instrumental parts, and we are now about one minute and 45 seconds into the song. And what you're gonna do there is to play the chorus again in the same way as you played it. So imagine you have a third chorus now, we'll not call it the third chorus because it's an instrumental part, um, but you're gonna play it in the same way as you played the previous choruses. E minor part one, A part two, for three rounds and then G part one, A part two, for one round, and then you do that for two rounds, okay? So basically the chorus play again. And then after that, you're gonna play the post-chorus part. We learned that before, uh, but you're gonna play just the A sus, okay? In the same way as you play post-chorus part two, you're gonna play that again, just an extra down on A sus. And then comes this uh, strumming part that changes a little bit um, um, from the standard strumming we worked with so far. We're still in the instrumental part slash bridge part here. Okay, so you're gonna use two chords now to go back and forth with. It's the C and the A sus. But now the strumming is different. So it goes like this. So tempo goes down a bit here. So one string around will be, if you grab the C, down, up, down, up. So down, a short pause, and up, down, up. Okay. And if you play a couple of rounds, it will sound like this with the rhythm. So you're gonna play C, four string rounds, and A sus, four string rounds. You do that for two rounds, back and forth. So C, two, three, four, A, two, three, four. Again, back, C, two, three, four, and A. And on the third round now, finally, you're gonna play C4 and A minor two plus one extra down. So C, two, three, four, A, two, down, and the pause. And that ends the instrumental slash bridge parts. It's a long one, so I'm just gonna repeat everything so you understand what's going on. It started at one and 45 seconds into the song. You're gonna play the chorus play in the same way as you played the previous choruses, two rounds of that. Then you're gonna play the post-chorus, uh, which is basically just one down on the ASUS, 
all right like this and then you're gonna play this new strength pattern which is down up down up you're gonna play c4 and a minor sorry a sus4 for two rounds back and forth and then on the third round you're gonna play c4 and a two rounds plus one extra down with a pause and that pause now takes us to the final course okay you're gonna play that course instead of playing two rounds of it you're gonna play it for three rounds okay so it's a little bit longer than the previous courses three rounds and after these three rounds as soon as you play the asus part two you're gonna play the ending the outro part of the song and uh, yeah that goes e minor part one asus part two then g part one asus part two and then just one down on c so slowly it goes like this all right and that c marks the end of casey musgrave's cardinal a very nice song here from casey i like this one a lot guitar friendly five chords easy chords and the tricky part here could be the shift with the strumming here i'm aware of that but yeah it feels very natural once you tried it and practice a bit so give it a try i enjoyed it hope you did it as well and give me some like on this one subscribe to this channel if you wish that would make my day thank you so much guys and play tuned